Greetings everyone, Benomade9 here, back again with another tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine. And yes, this is another tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine, and with its full functions and all that. Apparently they haven't updated that program, so there's going to be lots of things happening. Uh, though I'm not going to show every single one of them, because it's not fully complete. So the Cheat Engine, you know, APK, is not stable. That I want to say. So if you would use an unknown initial value, don't use it because it will crash. And if you're gonna to do a browse memory region, which it will also crash, which will cause two troubles, and you don't want that. Am I right? All right. So when we open up, first open up the whole APK, Cheat Engine APK. It's gonna say Open Process. Do you wish to open the trigger? And at the end, no, at the very end, it says here Dead tr Trigger with a question mark. And we're going to click on yes, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go click on here. I'm going to show you the basic stuff. So he has process picker, which is going to, you know, pick us the process. And he says here, so select process, which is app list. We can select the applications that we want. We can search the name of the applications that we want it to use. And we have process list, which is this one, but we don't do with this one. Because if you don't know what we are doing, we don't want to mess with this one. Because that's none of our, our, of our business. And you should start with a... Uh, scan like you have three tabs and the one of three of the tabs are scan options we have scan results which is that you know when we scan something the results come here and here we have the address list address list and you know why do we use this one because it's when you know when we get results from the scan results we pick one of them addresses and put it here hence it's called address list because from scan re results we're gonna take the addresses and put it in a list that's why it's called an address list, because we put the addresses in it. And we have the value types, which is, which is way different than Game Guardian, and it's way different from Game Guardian and Game, uh, Game Hacker. And here we have byte, 2 bytes, 4 bytes, 8 bytes, float, double, string, and array of byte and all, and grouped. And we have hexadecimal, hexadecimal, all that, but I'm going to flip my phone quickly. Which is annoying, I get it, but in the Sony Vegas I will make sure to rotate this clip. So as you can see here, we can see fully everything, and I know it's vertical, and it sucks. But what can we do is, this, this is the only way. So we have here fast scan for legitimate and last digit, and we have include memory, on, uh, include read only memory, and we have page memory only, we have changed memory only here, stuff like that, etc. Here we can check into settings, which is memory view. Well, I don't want to click on that; it will crash. We have address add address manually. We can click on here to add a address, and we can, you know, select here that it's a pointer, and we have to add the base address and the offset in order to do that. So, and <clears throat> here we have terminate cheat engine. We don't want to close it yet. We we have clear list. We have save table. We have load table, and we can save them. And whenever we want to restart the app, we can get the previous ones and might do a some sort of a pointer or get a base. But it's just kind of complicated. And since if Dark Bytes is going to update it, as I said in the previous video, if he updates it, it that's good. Because if he de does that, that is pretty much great. And if he has the same features as the PC version of Cheat Engine has, then that's going to be much better. We can code our trainers and all that. I will make a lot of tutorials on that. Anyways, we're going to click on, here we have settings. We have fetch symbols here, etc., and we have freeze in, in interval. I guess inter. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. I do apologize, but you get it. And we have update, and we have show CE icon overlay. We have overlay click shows request. To. All right, we're gonna do that. All that we have all that pretty much showed you. And here we're gonna go back again with this one. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to a certain map, I'm gonna take the Bloody Xmas, which is the Bloody Christmas, even though it's not Christmas here, here, but whatever. And we are gonna get to the level, and as I showed you in the previous tutorial, where I showed you uh, <clears throat> how to pretty much get the health, infinite health, which is, you know, the, we type this one, the, these numbers, so 1126. One seven zero six two four, and as you can see here, 
And here are the, are the numbers. So one one two six one seven zero six two four. This is for the you know finding the address. And we have fifty. Uh, we have <laughs> fifty seven results. We're gonna go back in the game. And pretty much over here. <clears throat> and as you can see here, if we get hit by a zombie, which is we did, and we go here, as you can see, it says exact. The scan type here says exact value. We can click from the exact value to decreased and increased. This is a very good, useful one because when we have a number like this one and we don't know what's after that when it gets decreased, we click on a decreased value and we're gonna click on next. And we have this one, these ones, and <clears throat> I'm sure, pretty sure it's this one. So we're gonna add the address and freeze that one and just type in the original number, which was. One one two six one seven zero six two four, and we're gonna click on OK, and that's how it should work, and we should have a in full infinite health, and boom, we have infinite health. So that's how we hack that. Simple as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <clears throat> For that, we're gonna do a reset scan because, but we still have the address here. We have here also stuff here, but we still have the address over here. All right. And we could have done a nearby memory, but we cannot because, oh sorry, a browse memory, we could have get the addresses, but it's not finished, so we have to find the auto other ones, and what can we do is either that to do it, so <clears throat> we go back in the game and see what the ammo was, was 240, 240, and we type in 240, click on scan. And it should take time. Decrease the value. So now it's 229. 229. Click on next. And we should have uh, only one address. We're going to click on add address. And just freeze the value and just type in 420. And just click on OK. All right. Clicked on 420. And you know, we typed 420 and it should work. All right, we don't get rid of a zombie. All right, now we have 420, and here we have 50. P90 is always 50 if you have played CSGO. Hell yeah! And we're gonna click on here, scan, and shoot. Oops, I didn't mean to shoot a lot, I meant to shoot once. We shoot one. And it should be 49, 49, and it should be next. And we have six values indicating that it is. And we can go back again, shoot one, and we can see the differences. We have 48, which is this one, because it's the same, like, it's, like, same, but very far away from that one. Click on add address, and I'm sure it's this one, because since they are... Almost the same same place. We go to 420. Click on that. And we should have infinite ammo, and it should work. All right, we have infinite ammo for Lupara, which is the double barrel shotgun. And we're gonna do a search for two. We're gonna click on reset scan. And click on scan. Oops. I mean that. All right. Click on scan. And it should do the scan for that. And all right, get rid of the freaking ugly zombie. Shoot that, and we should have one. Click on next, and it should take time. It takes a lot of time though. And we have here. As you can see, the, sometimes the yellow bar does not show you anything, but you have to wait in order to, you know, <clears throat> to have that hack working. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go here, type 2, because in Dead Trigger somehow, 0 is not considered a, you know, value to the shotgun, which is ridiculous. Shoot again, and now we should have 1. Click on next, and now we have 10 values that are showing us. But I'm pretty sure it could be next to these values, which is the 491, and it's this one. I'm pretty sure, because it's so close to that other address. And we've got to try that one, 
and we're gonna type 420 420 and it should be working it should be and as you can see it's working pretty much and we go for the Enfield 303 which the ammo of this weapon is 7 and we're gonna click on scan and <laughs> it takes a lot of time though oops we have here as you can see wait as you can see here we have the green values the green values are mean static the addresses are static so once we if we're gonna download a Call of Duty game I'm gonna show you also another tutorial how to hack that son of a <laughs> B or how to hack that son of a gun and we wait as you can see we don't have the yellow bar loading but we have to wait that will tell you sure and <clears throat> we shoot again and we should have five ammo left next and as you can see here we just add that to the list and type in <clears throat> 420 don't ask me why just love that number alright so here we have here we can just you know edit this description here we type health, which is what I love about cheat engine. Click on OK. Here is chain saw, and here is P90. Here is the blue para. And here, last but not least, is the infield. And field. Field 303. And that's it. And then what we want to do it is going to save the table. And we can enter the table name, which is Dead Trigger God Mode Hack. Just click on that. Click on OK. And whenever we want to load it, we can go here and just search for that what we wanted and we have here dead trigger god mode hack.ct and that's how we find it click on ok or cancel and that's how we do it. we do the same thing also for uh, <clears throat> we do the same thing also for the grenades and all that but I could not do that because I'm 100% sure that the cheat engine cannot find it so here we have a rapid fire shotgun crazy isn't it yeah pretty much awesome and all that as you can see it killed pretty much everything on its way so we have god mode hack infinite ammo pretty much here yeah pretty crazy huh and <clears throat> that's how we find that and that's how we use cheat engine guys I hope you like this video you know please leave a like subscribe and peace